New Orleans. New Orleans is a city situated on the Mississippi River near the Gulf of Mexico. The city is nicknamed the Big Easy as it is known for its round-the-clock nightlife, its vibrant live music scene and its spicy singular Q sign reflects its history as a melting pot of French, African and American cultures. However, in 2005, a hurricane brought New Orleans to an uneasy situation. Early in the morning on August 29, 2005, Hurricane Katrina struck the Gulf Coast of the United States. When the storm made landfall, it had a Category 3 rating on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Scale. It brought sustained winds of 100 to 140 miles per hour and stretched 400 miles across. Katrina caused enormous and obvious harm to human health and property. The storm also severely impacted the natural environment. This leads to the main question. How did Hurricane Katrina have a ripple effect on the environment? Many residents evacuated the areas before the hurricane arrived, but those that stayed suffered heavy floods after the dikes breached in many places. Approximately 80% of the city was underwater as a result. Katrina inundated New Orleans with contaminated floods which not only affected the health of people but also caused structural damage to houses and left the city looking like a unique dump site. The flood caused destruction of buildings and homes. At least 1 million people in Louisiana Mississippi and Alabama were without electricity power for a period of time. The availability of drinking water was scarce and the streets were covered in contaminated water of human waste, chemicals and this raised dangers of infectious diseases. Due to contaminated waters, the residents in New Orleans suffered a variety of different diseases. The most common was a bacterium called Vibrio vulnificus, which is similar to cholera, although not contagious, it killed five people. There were also reports of gastrointestinal illness, which was caused by the lack of sanitation, and the West Nile virus, which was spread through mosquito bites. Hurricane Katrina's floods affected New Orleans for the next five years. Wetlands, which was important to rainforests to support a wide range of plant and animal species, had been destroyed. Coastal wetlands suffered degradation and wetlands were shredded by oil and gas development, rising sea level and decade-long invasion of ravenous rodents. Katrina destroyed hundreds of acres of green spaces, such as gardens and parks. Thousands of trees were blown down and badly damaged. Lots of wildlife were killed due to the heavy rains and strong winds. It became increasingly clear that the city of New Orleans was unprepared for such a disaster. The damage had been estimated to be in the tens of billions of dollars. Katrina was one of the five most deadliest hurricanes recorded in history and the costliest natural disaster. Ever since Hurricane Katrina, the road to recovery had been wrought with challenges. However, looking to the future was important. Although people today still suffer the traumatic experience that Katrina brought upon them, recent trends shine a new light of hope on a successful future for New Orleans.